While it's still in beta, the game audio world is excitedly testing out Unreal Engine 5's brand new feature, MetaSounds. I spent a few weeks diving in and learning as much as I could to see what's new and what this means for the future of game audio. Game audio has always been at the mercy of the prevailing technology available to it. Within the past couple decades or so, we've seen really powerful middleware tools emerge, such as WISE and FMOD. These tools unify and bring complex audio manipulation strategies to multiple game engines. They allow audio programmers deeper functionalities without having a developer to reinvent the audio system from scratch every time they make a new game. Most game engines have their own built-in audio engine but usually the capabilities are pretty limited and that leads people to want to use these third-party middleware solutions. Epic introduced its audio mixer engine with Unreal 4.24. This was powerful con compared to previous versions of Unreal, but it still was incredibly limited when compared to the middleware engines like WISE and FMOD. With Unreal 5, we now have MetaSounds, furthering the question on every developer's mind, do I need to pay to license audio middleware? The answer, of course, is complicated. First things first, MetaSounds is incredibly powerful. There's a wide variety of complex audio techniques, many of which share a lot of similarities and workflows such as Max, MSP, Pure Data, or Super Collider. If you're comfortable with, with these types of audio tools, you might find yourself right at home with MetaSound. It's particularly powerful at creating and manipulating small bits of sound on the fly. MetaSound does struggle a little bit, at least in my tests, when we get into deeply layered pre-recorded audio files. People have already easily made complex synthesizers using MetaSounds. <laughs> Some people are already finding complex ways to sequence musical arrangements natively in MetaSounds. Let's dive under the hood a little bit to see what's new. Sample accurate audio control. Unreal's previous audio engine was not sample accurate. That meant a little bit less control over the audio and potentially more audio latency. With MetaSounds, we can natively change the frequency of the audio file playing dynamically. Individual audio rendering engine. MetaSounds turns audio systems into individual systems to be either self-contained or to communicate with each other. This means that each MetaSounds isn't relying on the other ones as much. Workflow. One major overhaul is to have nested MetaSounds. We can begin to build systems of MetaSounds within MetaSounds. This makes us able to build some really, really cool and complex systems pretty easily. Performance. Because each MetaSound is rendered using its own C++ object, it is not reliant on the main audio mixer the way previous systems were. If something crashes or performs weird, it doesn't affect the whole thing. It's just one single node that is doing that. Let's see what's missing a little bit when we compare it to other audio engines such as WISE or FMOD. Now, some of this might be changing as this is a beta project and it's possible that some of these functions will be available soon or maybe it is possible right now but the documentation just isn't as clear as I want it to be but as of right now, this is what I understand. Audio file support. As I can tell, MetaSounds can render in either mono or stereo audio. That means that we're missing a lot of different audio structures. 5.1 sound, 7.1, ambisonic, other multi-channel formats that WISE and FMOD frequently handle. Complex musical interactions. Both WISE and FMOD are built to be able to handle almost DAW-like workflows with multiple layers of audio files working together. Currently, MetaSounds Wave Player doesn't support this kind of structure cross-engine workflow. This is obvious, but it's important. WISE and FMOD can be used in a variety of game engines. This is, of course, limited to Unreal 5. So if your game's not in Unreal 5, it doesn't help you. Conclusion. As a game audio professional with a programming and synthesizer background, I felt immediately right at home with MetaSounds. Within a few minutes, I had made a simple synthesizer, and a few more I was able to play it with a MIDI controller. If we're talking about sample-based or synthesizer-based or other node-based sound design techniques, MetaSounds is really powerful. And there's even some things that it seems better at, or at least 
quicker and more natively able to handle than Wise and FMOD. For some games, I can totally see foregoing the licensing fees that Wise and FMOD require. There are ways to do similar synthesized sounds in Wise and FMOD, but it isn't always as easy and native and straightforward as what we see in MetaSound. But here's the thing. I would still be reaching to pay for the license fee for Wise and FMOD in the following places. One, complex pre-recorded musical systems. If I were creating a musical environment with pre-recorded wave files interacting with each other, I would probably be pretty nervous at the prospect of dealing with MetaSounds, particularly if they're stacking or layering on top of each other. A DAW-like track-based workflow is a very comforting one for me as a composer when dealing with multi-layered music. Dialogue having games. Dialogue is already a really big undertaking in terms of organizing and management and layering and getting everything ready. Engines such as Wise really excel in this sort of raw database organization kind of capacity. Every single day we're forced to ask ourselves if we should shell out money for new and more expensive tools. My number one rule to anybody about any tool is push your current tools as far as you can. And only then, only when you've reached your limit, that's when you should be reaching for your wallet and looking to, to buy something else. With MetaSounds, this limit got a lot further than it's ever been natively in a game engine. I suspect a lot of games in the future will be able to do all the audio they want just using MetaSounds without ever reaching for Wise or FMON.